Alicia Daniel Hall, attorney and realtor here in Florida, and I'm going to very quickly walk you through the process of finding open houses on Zillow. If this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. I regularly upload videos about real estate for buyers, sellers, tenants, as well as estate planning and probate. Open houses are a great opportunity to view homes on the market without having to worry about coordinating multiple schedules. With an open house, they're scheduled for a set number of hours and you won't have to coordinate with the listing agent schedule, the homeowners if they live there, the tenants if they live there. If you're at the very beginning stages of your housing search and you haven't gotten your pre-approval yet, then an open house is a great way to take a look at what's on the market, what the different price points are, and what you would get for that price in your area. Let's take a look at Zillow.com and I'm going to walk you through locating the open houses. In order to find open houses on Zillow, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is go to Zillow.com. You'll notice that it auto-populated for me and that is because I do pop into Zillow.com from time to time. Even though I am a licensed real estate professional, um, I go above and beyond for my clients and especially in this market that means I have to go to alternative sources to find properties for my clients and Zillow is one of them. I come here primarily to take a look at for sale by owners which are not listed on the multiple listing service and in case you are not aware the MLS is where agents post properties that are available. Um, we also update our properties on the MLS. So for sale by owners, you jump into Zillow if you wanna take a look at that. And if you are interested in learning how to find the for sale by owners on Zillow.com, take a look at this video where I provided a breakdown similar to what we're going to do right now. The first thing you're going to do once you are on Zillow.com is you are going to type in your location. You can put a city, a neighborhood within a city, a state, a zip code. You can also, if you wanted to, um, actually draw a map, draw the boundaries of the area you're interested in. So let's say you're specifically interested in, I'm in South Florida um, on the East Coast, so sometimes I get clients that just want to live within you know, a one mile radius from the beach. So in that situation, then yes, you would definitely want to draw the boundaries. I'm not gonna get into the boundary. I wanna keep this very simple. So for simplicity's sake, we're just going to type in Pompano Beach, Florida, which is where I am located. So this is your Zillow dashboard. And what you are going to do is, first and foremost, if you had any sort of parameters that you wanted to limit or restrict your search to, I would recommend that you put them in here. So let's play around and let's just say you have a max price point of $500,000 and you also have a minimum of, I don't know, let's just pick 100,000, okay? You're gonna click done. You're looking for two bedrooms, maybe one and a half baths. And that's all I'm gonna do because I wanna make sure we actually have some options that pop up in this search. So now you're going to click on more. Once you go into more, you want to go under tours and you wanna make sure that you check must have open house. You're gonna go down to the bottom and click on done. As you can see, we have zero agent listings that meet my parameters where we're going to have an open house coming soon. If you click on other listings, you'll see some of the other opportunities. In this instance, we have a for sale by owner with an open house on May 15th from 1 to 4 p.m. And we also have an open house this coming Sunday from 1 to 3. I wanna show you if we remove the filters, just want to see if that gives us any more options. And let's also remove the price range. Okay. There you go. So now that I've removed those filters, you'll see there are four agent listings with open houses coming up shortly. There's one on Saturday from 12 to 1 another one on Saturday from 11 to 1, and um, 11 to 1, and 9 to 1. I also wanted to point out, if you scroll down a little bit more, 
you will notice that there are more open houses that are not in Pompano Beach, Florida, the city we selected, but in neighboring areas. So it provides you with more of an extended search. And here it tells you results within one mile. If you wanted to move a little bit further out, you certainly can. You would simply slide your map a little bit using your mouse and it'll show you the upcoming open houses in that new location. If you would like to schedule a real estate consultation to talk about your real estate goals, please feel free to click on the link below or feel free to reach out. You can call, text, or email.